Okay guys, welcome to the revealing of how much horsepower this car made. Um, 10 PSI. <laughs> what? The revealing of how much power this car made at 10 PSI. I know that in every discussion. Yeah. yeah, how much it made at 10 PSI. This car is capable of doing like 20, 22, 1 million, maybe even 2 million PSI, but it was tuned on 10 PSI, so keep that in mind when everyone's like, ah, that's low ball numbers, me, me, me. So, 10 PSI, and uh, I will announce the winner. I forget the name of the winner, but I will post it at the end of when I talk about this. And when after, after I announce the numbers, I'm gonna be doing a petrol box unboxing if you'd like to stick around for that. And I do have a coupon code so you can get 10% off. So that's very cool. So, here is the Dynograph. So 10 PSI, it made a peak at 6,750 RPM, which is very late in the game. It made a peak horsepower of 320 horsepower. And at 50, 200, not at 5250, but at 5200, it made a peak torque of 250 torque. So, there was actually a lot of good guesses. A lot of people guessed 320 horsepower. So I'm proud of you guys for that, but not many of you motherfuckers followed the rules and subscribed to Sicky. Only like 20 of you did, which I'm disappointed. But I am proud of the winner who is this. Sorry, I forget your name. But the winner will be right here. Um, I will send you an email if I can. And if you're watching this video and you have not received an email from me yet, email me. Uh, you can either send an email to me on YouTube or my actual email, poormanmods at gmail.com. So if I don't reach out to you, reach out to me and I will hook you up with that JB Tool Sales coupon. So, congratulations. And uh, yeah, 320 horsepower, 250 foot pounds of torque on 10 PSI which I think is pretty good for 10 PSI. That's like two above the factory pressure on this. Um, and it made 320. I think these cars dyno like, I wanna say like 260-ish stock. So um, that's pretty good. And there's no meth, so this is just cams and a single turbo and an exhaust, but actually right now the car doesn't even have an exhaust because it broke. Uh, video on that. And now we'll get to the petrol box unboxing. If you would like to stick around for that, um, coupon code right here if you want to get your own petrol box with a discount. So let me get it. Petrol box, this is my second one, and I really enjoyed it last time, so I'm excited to see what is in it this time. <coughs> Ooh, nice. Hell yeah. Lightness. That's a badass shirt. I think that's a Lotus Esprit. <coughs> Tim's Enthusiast Garage. I really like that. Those are definitely one of my favorite, favorite cars. That is badass. Check it out. <coughs> I think that's a Lotus Esprit. Howdy. Hey. We got here Max 44 Total Fuel System Cleaner. Awesome. Never heard of Max 44, but. I use fuel system cleaners all the time. I actually did a test on valve cleaners uh, comparison. I'll have a link or thing right here where you can click and watch that if you're interested. I compared Lucas Oil. Damn, I'm getting a frog in my throat. <coughs> I compared Lucas Oil. Uh, shit. Gum out and B12 Chem Tool. I compared those three to see which one was better. So you can check that out. And this one. It does claim to clean valves, so I'm not sure how this one will stand up, but I'm probably gonna put this in the super like right now, actually. Ultra weld thread locker. So this is like the blue Loctite. Super helpful. This is good for using on aluminum. So like the shifter that I installed in this car, um, they recommended Loctite. I would not use red Loctite on that. Use the blue Loctite. This will keep it in there, but not permanently in there. So. This is good for low torque situations or aluminum or small bolts. And what the heck is this? Breakaway, the best at loosening the toughest jobs. Huh, okay, so this is like a, uh, a sample, I guess like a PB blaster kind of thing. I'll have to use this and see how well it does. 
red Loctite. Well, it's not actually Loctite, it's Ultra Weld Thread Locker, the red stuff. This is for maybe like exhaust stuff, stuff you really don't want to come apart. Um, I definitely use this a lot because um, this thing rattles pretty good and things tend to fall off. Oh snap, a 10 millimeter socket, I found it. This is where it's been. This is where the 10 mil goes. Whenever you lose a 10 millimeter socket, it goes in the petrol box. You know how often I lose 10 mils? Yes, thank you, this is fantastic, thank you. The 10 mil. Ooh, look, double bubble. My third is acting up really bad right now. Why? Double bubble. Nostalgia. Oh! <laughs> this is badass. A turbo air freshener. Badass. I like that. That's definitely gonna go in the Supra. Vanilla, my favorite scent. And right now, that's... Apple and vanilla, They're, it's a close tie. But right now it smells like Herculiner. Uh, it could definitely use some vanilla, because Herculiner does not smell that good. Ugh. A petrol box magnet with a very nice looking Civic, Pumpkin 98. Subscriber ride of the month. Nice, I do like your Civic. That is very nice, very nice David. God, my nose and my eye. In my throat, I think I'm dying over here. Welcome to the scene, an introduction to the Volkswagen lifestyle. Definitely not for me. Cool that it's in there, a lot of people like this, but uh, that, mm, the V-Dub lifestyle is not for me. Never been a fan. So this is a pretty cool petrol box this month. I'm definitely digging the shirt, that's my favorite part. If you want your own petrol box with a discount, I'll have a coupon code right here, you can get yours. And uh, once again, thanks for everyone who participated in the Horsepower Giveaway. Uh, congratulations on the winner. I'll have your name right here again. Hit me up if I haven't hit you up already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.